here to say. Anyways, my name is Vika and this is my first like sit down video and I'm so excited. This feels weird, but it feels good. I'm excited. How many times am I going to say that? Um, so I just wanted to do something fun today. I don't know about you, but ever since we've been in quarantine, I cannot stop online shopping. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Um, through this I've been able to work from home and so I found that I've been saving so much money and I've been using that money on myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick haul to show you what I've purchased this week of quarantine. I think we're in week four or five. I don't even remember anymore. Raise your hand if you remember anymore. <laughs> So I originally wanted to do an unboxing where like we open it together, but I was just too impatient and I had to open all of them. It was really hard waiting to film this and not want to play with all this stuff, which some of it I have, but yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the haul. So one of the purchases that I have made came from an Instagram app, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, but it's these static nails. <laughs> Um, they're press on nails and I had them on up until about like 30 minutes ago. Um, today would have been a week if they lasted. Only half of them lasted. Um, and then I was just kind of like setting up to film this video. And then I only had these nails on and I ended up breaking one of them and I just took them all off. I got two of them. They're only 15 bucks so I'm not mad that they weren't anything too special. Um, yeah, they were fun while they lasted. I haven't had acrylics in almost three years. Might have been three years, two years. Which is crazy to think. This is the set that I did wear and then these are the ones I'll probably still, I mean I paid for them and I'll probably still use them. Um, so yeah, that was one of my lame purchases. <laughs> Moving on to Amazon. These are my most recent purchases. I've had I purchased many things from Amazon in the last few weeks. Um, one of them being this jacket. Um, it's not my favorite. And I tried to return it, but my husband threw away like the packaging for it to return it. And then I didn't want to like, I totally could have used one of the boxes um, from one of my other packages. But I was like, whatever, I'm just going to wear it. Um, and I actually ended up liking it a lot more than when I first got it. So. How is this? It's kind of oversized and it's like ripped everywhere. That's why I didn't like it. It's just like a little too ripped. And like the buttons are hella annoying. <laughs> Another purchase I made from Amazon were these um, New Cali Alsies. Um, they're definitely more on the natural side and that's how I like my lashes. I'm not really into extension, lash extensions. Um, and I wear falsies very rarely. So um, I got this pack for like seven bucks, which was really nice. Um, so I'm excited to try these. And then along with that, I just got some lash glue. I've never used this kiss glue. Um, but every time I get lash glue, I always lose the cap. And then I never wear lashes and then I buy another set, I buy a whole brand new thing of lash glue and lose the cap again. So I'm excited. This one has like a wand so you can like apply it easier. Again, because I don't wear them often, I'm not really good at applying them. <laughs> Next up is Ulta. <laughs> this week, uh, this is probably my second time ordering from Ulta in the last two weeks. So, doing pretty good. Um, the first thing I got was this Living Proof um, Restore Dry Scalp Treatment. Um, it relieves dryness, itching, and irritation. It's for my scalp. <laughs> um, I have really oily hair, but living in Utah, my scalp is really dry. So it's been hard to find something to kind of like balance the oil for my hair, but then also like treat the dryness of my scalp. So I'm going to give this a shot. And I'm excited to try it. It smells really good. I can like smell it through the package, but Living Proof has the best smelling products. <laughs> um, the next thing I bought was this Morphe setting spray. Um, it's just the continuous setting mist. 
and it's been out for a while. Um, I haven't made a Morphe purchase in so long, so I'm excited to try this. I've heard really good things about it, but yeah, I tried this today and yesterday, and so far, I like it, so thanks, Morphe. <laughs> and then the last thing I got this week from Ulta was this James Charles eye brush set, which I'm not like a huge fan of James Charles, but I don't hate him. I really liked uh, that one video he did with that singing coach, so. <laughs> um, but Team Tati through and through. But yeah, when I ask, well, if you don't like him, why did you support him? Well, this brush set, well, actually, all of Morphe products were 50% off. And so I just really needed new brushes. And so yeah, I'm excited to try this. It comes in this case. And I think there's like 20. Brushes? 15? I don't know. And I do know that it had more than the other brush sets that Morphe had. And so I got these. So I'm excited to use these. I need to wash them and give them a shot. I wanted to buy the Jaclyn Hill face brushes, but those were all sold out. And then I really wanted to buy the Jeffrey ones, but they were, there were only a few brushes. And I just needed a lot more than that. So. I'm kind of sad that I chose James Charles. Well, this is how I'm like choosing to look at it. I chose James Charles over Jeffree Star, which it's not like that. <laughs> Moving along, we made a decent sized purchase from Nike. And I'll show you why. In items, no, but price, yes. The first thing I got from Nike were these white chucks. Uh, this is probably like my 10 millionth pair that I've ever owned. Um, a problem with me is that I love white shoes, but I just kind of like let them get dirty. And instead of just like cleaning them, I just continue on until they're too gross to wear. And then I throw them away and I buy a new pair. And if you know me, these get dirty easily. Also, I realized that I purchased three white shoes this week, which is embarrassing. So. Moving along. Another poor purchase that I probably shouldn't have made because like white shoes, white clothing I don't do well with because I'm a child and I spill things. Anyways, <laughs> um, I got this just like one breaker from Nike. It's really light and it's white and it's cute and I'm excited to wear this. Hopefully one day I'll wear this to the gym when it opens. One day. I also got new bras sorry mom sorry family i don't want to see this i mean they're sports bras got two <laughs> um nike sports bras nothing special about them they're white and gray so thanks i also got a black pair of running shorts but i actually wore them earlier this week and not to run in <laughs> Recently I've been into yoga, so I just got these like yoga shorts. I don't, I could have done without them, but they're pink and they're cute and they have pockets and I, I appreciate that. <laughs> My last purchase from Nike was a big one, a monumental one, if you will. I purchased my first pair of J's. <laughs> I'm a big kid now, I'm just kidding. I laugh because like, my siblings, I'm the youngest of four, and all of my siblings, two sisters and a brother, they're all like huge like sneaker heads, and I'm not. And I mostly wear sandals, even though I continue to buy shoes. <laughs> These are them. They're so cute. They are Max 200s. I don't know anything about Jays. Again, these are my first pair. Never really cared for them. Um, but why not? They're white, and so. Who knows? I'll, I'll try. As soon as I got them in the mail, I opened it and I apologized to them for the abuse that they will endure by being owned by me because I will try. I will try to take care of them because they were a lot of money. My next purchase came as well from an Instagram ad. <laughs> um, I usually get a ton of like boutique ads and things like that and I just laugh because I'm like, Never in a million years will I ever be able to fit into your clothes, so like, no. Um, 
insert that Meg the Stallion song here. Um, but I saw like a plus sized woman wearing a really cute bathing suit and I'm like, sis, I could probably wear that along with you. And so I clicked on it, they actually had my size at a boutique and they're in Salt Lake. So this is from Lucy Avenue Boutique, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, they had like the most random sale and it was like one of those sales that like, you know, don't really make sense, but you're gonna buy it anyways because it's a sale. Does anyone do that? <laughs> so this is the shirt that I got. It was just a t-shirt and it reminded me of America. And I was like, I'm gonna wear this on 4th of July. That was the decision I made on April like 16th. So, you know, I'm just forward thinking over here. But these were the shoes that I got. I'm kind of mad now like seeing this stupid box because I bought a pair of shoes from this company on Amazon and I'm pretty sure it was cheaper there. Anyways, these are the shoes that I got and they have like these super soft with insoles. Moving along to why I even made this purchase, um, to bathing suits. So, um, I'm not looking, I don't know, I feel like the Floridian in me is just always trying to purchase bathing suits even though here in Utah I don't like to go anywhere in a bathing suit because there's no ocean, they only have like community pools. This, this is actually what I saw on the ad, it was this cute bralette um, top and it just has like this cute tie at the bottom. I'm gonna stop looking at myself. Um, yeah, it's super pretty and it's ribbed. So it has like a nice cute, I don't know, it's it's just cute. <laughs> and then I also apparently wanted to be Carol Baskin, so hey all you cool cats and kids. <laughs> um, so yeah, same cut and everything as that last top. It still has that like tie at the bottom. I'm excited to wear these. And I feel like a lot of people are like, ooh, they don't really want to see you in those tops. And you're right, so um, I bought, these don't go. <laughs> with these tops but I got just like a high-waisted bottom um and I have other high-waisted bottoms that I'll be wearing that with so coverage taken care of. Yeah that was everything that I bought from Lucy Avenue Boutique. My next quarantine purchase of the week. A diaper bag! <laughs> um this is a fun design bag and if you're in Utah you won't probably have this or you have at least heard of it or seen it um but yeah this is their mini bag they do have a full bag it's a diaper bag it was designed as a diaper bag but i love backpacks and i've always liked these so i got the mini one um i forgot what this color was called but this was part of their spring collection um it's really pretty but i really wish i got the yellow one i was like going back and forth forever trying to decide which one to get and this one won. The last package I'm going to show you is from Nordstrom and I'm really excited for this one. I just got a bunch of clothes. So um, the first thing that I'll show you is this cute blue button up. It has a cuff sleeve. I love this color um, and I feel like it's perfect for the summer and hopefully I'll be able to wear it outside one day when we're not in quarantine. <laughs> the next thing I got was this, <laughs> was just this plain black maxi dress, super long. Um, I realized that I didn't have any, I don't know where all of my other ones went. Um, but I actually bought this, not because I didn't have any, <laughs> not just because I didn't have any, but also a few weeks ago, Target had like this big top sale. And so I bought like, four or five tops and they were all crop tops and I like looked on there and everything and it didn't say it never described it as a crop top I guess my torso was just too long and so um here's a hack if you are built like me I just simply don't want to wear a crop top I usually wear them over a maxi dress gosh my camera battery is dying then I got these Levi jeans. They are ripped. 
I've never actually owned a pair of Levi jeans. Um, they're kind of like mom jeans. Actually, it has a weird name. They're wedgie, they're wedgie straight Levi jeans. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but I'm excited to try these. They're cute little mom jeans. Also got this cardigan, Nordstrom, it's super lightweight. Um, I went through like a cardigan purge. I just like decided that I didn't want to wear them anymore, so I got rid of like all of mine. But we're starting back up again. <laughs> got this blue dress, Nordstrom. I did not know it came like this. <laughs> um, and then it has just like this tie in the middle, and it's like cinched at the waist, and then it has like a high low kind of like opening in the front. Um, this was my last purchase. It's a dress. It's literally like really similar to the blue one. Um, it is this color. <laughs> um, it has like flowy sleeves and then it is also high low and it just has like a slit in the front. Um, and then it just has a tie around the waist to make it more flattering. And I don't know how else to show you this in a better way. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe. And I'll love you forever. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much and I hope you guys are staying safe and have a wonderful day.